Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raider Sport. It's Mitchell Reds here from Chat Sports. And coming up on today's show, I have five burning Raiders questions entering their Week 11 game up against the Miami Dolphins. Now, the way that I think of these burning questions are the top trending Raiders rumors, but questions that I know that I want to know, questions that the nation has asked me, and in point blank, the biggest storylines as I am filming this video right now. The first one is this. Are the Raiders contenders or are the Raiders pretenders with Antonio Pierce? Because I get it right now. The Raiders 2-0 with Antonio Pierce on the season, 5-5. Five and five. And here's a very interesting stat involving the Dolphins. They are 6-0 and this season against teams with a losing record and 0-3 and against teams with a winning record. Well, the Raiders are 5-5, five and five, but they're 2-0 and with Antonio Pierce. To me, if you're able to march in to Hard Rock Stadium, you're able to go to Miami Gardens, Florida, and take on the Dolphins, a team that I can't even believe it right now, is basically a two-touchdown favorite over you. If you can go in there and you can get a win, you will not be disrespected again this season. Hell, if you go into their stadium, even if you don't come away with a win, but, man, it is a hard-fought football game. The Dolphins are a legit team. The Dolphins at home are a very legit team. This is going to be one hell of a test for Aiden O'Connell, Antonio Pierce, and company. But you know what, Nation? I need you all to rally. I don't know if the Raiders are going to win on Sunday, but I know that the Nation needs to win here. We're going to be doing a super chat battle against our Dolphins show, and guess what? I don't like to lose. So I need you to hit that subscribe button. Join the best Raiders community on the internet today, 100% for free. And if you're like, after a week, you know what, Mitch? I don't like it. It's all good. Click on subscribe. You have absolutely nothing to lose. And I should also mention this. I actually forgot, Jeremy. We're doing a jersey giveaway this Sunday. Your jersey. You pick it. Going home to you. But you got to be watching. Let's go to question number two here. That's just burning a hole inside of me. Is Aiden O'Connell ready for another road matchup? Because Aiden hasn't been great these past two games against the Jets and the Giants. But you know what? He has done just enough to get a just win, baby. But the last time that he started, and the only time he's had a road start this season, was all the way back in week four against the Los Angeles Chargers. And I say road matchup because of the location. But let's be real, anytime the Raiders go to SoFi, it's a home game for them. And Aiden in that game was 24-39, 238 yards, no touchdowns, a brutal interception. Also put the ball on the ground three times, lost two of them, and was sacked seven times. Like, I mean, the Raiders' offensive line in that game, it was bad. There's no doubt about it. But what is Aiden O'Connell going to be looking like against Miami in Week 11? It's a big-time question, no doubt about it. Now, before I tell you all about prize picks, because Aiden O'Connell is going to be featured in that, how many passing yards will AOC have against the Miami Dolphins? When you think about passing yards, Aiden O'Connell, how many is he going to have? This is going to be the pinned comment on today's show, so I want you to scroll on down. Let me know how many passing yards for the Raiders' rookie quarterback going up against the Finns. My Aiden O'Connell prediction is he's thrown for at least 250. To me, the Dolphins are going to put up points. They are first place in basically every statistic that you could possibly imagine on the offensive side of the football, and the Raiders are going to have to keep up. Yes, they are going to run the football effectively with Josh Jacobs, but this is going to be the game that Aiden gets the national media attention that he deserves because I've seen a lot of people out there shitting on the Raiders' last two wins. That's fine. You can shit on them because it's the Giants. The Jets have a legit defense. Aiden O'Connell, you're about to know his name real, real quick. I got three more burning questions coming up here on the show, but today we are sponsored by Price Picks and Price Picks is daily fantasy sports made easy. And if anybody wants to play a little fantasy football, don't be shy. Do it. It's a lot of fun. And all you have to do is go to pricepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to a hundred dollars. Also, one of the things that I love about Price Picks is it even offers a reboot policy so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For football and basketball games, if you ever had a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted. Price Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. For my picks this week in the Raiders Sunday game against the Dolphins, 
Give me less passing yards with Tua Tonga Bailoa. Now that Devon Achin is back, I anticipate that they're going to run the ball a little bit more. Give me the more on Josh Jacobs' overall touchdowns. And then Daniel Carlson, more than one and a half field goals made. If you're like, Mitch, I love those picks. Well, hey, go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS. If you're like, Mitch, I hate those picks. Fade me. I want to know what picks people are rocking with. Those are my picks for this game for the Raiders and Miami Dolphins. Let's go to question number three here. How will the Raiders' defense handle the Miami offense? Because like I said earlier in the video, the Dolphins have the number one offense in the National Football League. On top of that, the Raiders' defense, since Antonio Pierce has been the brand new interim head coach, the Raiders have allowed a touchdown on three out of 35 drives since week eight. 8.6%. That is first in the National Football League. I get it. I get it. Mitch, it's Danny, Tommy DeVito, it's Zach Wilson. I hear you. But with your eyeballs, the Raiders' defense has been much, much better than anybody out there ever anticipated. We can agree on that. And then the Dolphins' offense, first, first, tied for second, first. A lot, a lot of firsts. So you're about to find out real quick how legit this Raiders' defense truly, truly is. So with that being said, how many points will the Dolphins score against the Silver and Black? Are they going to put up over 30? Are they going to put up 28? Are they going to put up a 40-burger? To me, when I had to do my prediction overall, I took the Raiders to win this game 28-24, to 24, so give me 24. Speaking of 24, minus 3, 21. Let's go to Amik Robertson. And it's Amik Robertson and Jack Jones. Are they going to be suiting up and are they going to be playing on Sunday? In terms of a meek, he missed practice on Wednesday. Remember, scary, scary injury that he sustained getting hit in the back of the head in that Sunday night football game against the Jets. But then he practiced on Thursday, and it was kind of amazing. He tweets out, you know, God is great. I mean, to me, there are a lot of smoke, and the fire might be that a meek Robertson Ends up playing, and God, I hope he ends up playing because Amik is an absolute dog. If he's unable to go, though, you might see a little bit more run from Jack Jones, who was released by the New England Patriots, claimed by the Silver and Black. But we were saying on this show, like, hey, the reason why the Raiders might go and get this guy is because Antonio Pierce and him have known each other since Jones was 13, played on the same high school team, played on the same college team at Arizona State. Then he goes to New England, has a struggle. When Jack Jones and Antonio Pierce have been together, this guy has been incredible. I got a few more burning questions, but again, I wanted to show some love to people part of the Noti Gang here. And if you don't know what the Noti Gang is, it's people that are subscribed, people that turn on those notifications and take a lot of pride on being one of the very first people that comment on my video when it drops. So Kevin BMW, Raider Sancho, tell Michaela I said hello, Doreen Dayum, and then Raider Roger. I salute you. Seriously, means a lot. Let's go to the next one here. Will Devontae Adams find the end zone? I can't remember the last time that Devontae went on this much of a dry spell in terms of finding pay dirt, and it's not on Devontae. Devontae is an incredible wide receiver. We all know that. And this season, he's got 57 grabs, 659 yards, three touchdowns. However, he hasn't scored a touchdown since September. It is November, what? Middle of November, depending on when you watch this video. Uh, November 16th, 17th, 18th, it's the middle of November. Devontae hasn't scored a touchdown since September. I promise you this, Devontae Adams is fine in the end zone against Miami. Book it. So, those were my burning questions. With that being said, what is a burning question that you have for Raiders against Dolphins? It can be head coach related, it can be defensive coach related. Let me know what you guys are thinking. All right, let's roll through these one more time here really, really quick. My five burning questions leaning up to the Raiders game against the Dolphins. Question one, are the Raiders contenders or pretenders with Antonio Pierce? You're about to find out. Aiden O'Connell, is he ready for a road matchup? You can be a young quarterback and win at home, but the great ones, they went on the road. Question number three, how is this Raiders defense that has allowed a touchdown on their last 35 drives, only three times, going up against the number one offense in the NFL. We'll see, Patrick Graham. Will Amik Robertson and Jack Jones play? Only time's going to tell. And then, will Devontae Adams find the end zone? I personally believe that he will. Those are my five burning questions, and all those are going to be settled this Sunday 
when the Las Vegas Raiders travel to Hard Rock Stadium and take on the 6-3 and three Miami Dolphins. Hopefully you all are there, and hopefully you tune into our watch party because we're going to be giving away a Raiders jersey. Sounds pretty good. I know it does. Shout out to all of y'all for tuning in to the Raiders Report. And if you're not watching this live, remember, watch us live on Thursdays right before Thursday Night Football because we're about to turn up.